Hello Upswing Campers. It is a great day to talk about embracing mistakes and failures. And I'm going to tell you a quick story about that because, you know, when we make mistakes and we make what we think are failures, um, it can really, first it takes a pretty big hit to the ego, but then it can really take a deep hit to the soul, depending on what the mistake or failure is. And we're going to assume that most human beings want to perform well, they want to be well, they want to act well, they want to do the right thing. And sometimes we just do stupid things. Sometimes we need to learn. We need to learn a lesson. We need to learn something about how we're going about doing something. We need to make a mistake so that we can learn how to let go, how to, how to, to swallow deep, breathe deep, and move forward. If I think if we didn't make mistakes and learn and make failures, we wouldn't grow by leaps and bounds like we can if we want to. So I'm going to tell you a little story about one of my failures that I considered a failure, I considered a failure and mistakes. And it's a really long story, but it's going to prove the point of how this works. So and what I want to share with you today. So I had a um, Launch, raised money and launched a company. I had raised a large sum of money and um, from some private investors and I had launched into this vision creating this dynamic company um, and a website that cost me about $130,000. So this was a big investment in energy and time and faith and in taking risks and all those things. I had taken a really large risks. And I set out with all the right intentions in my heart, but I also set out with a pretty large ego. And as I got into doing the project, I built a team, I built the website I, I, with the team, I built a lot of content, I did a whole lot of things. And um, I didn't always do that very well. I was a visionary CEO, I was stressed out to the max, and I put a lot of pressure on a lot of people, and I was also a perfectionist. And so I was really just headed down the road to learn the big lessons of mistakes and failures, because it was just coming, it was gonna come. And so even though I pursued and I did, I persevered and I did all of the things that you have to do to make that happen, um, I, in the end, my physicality, my, my mind, body, spirit actually couldn't contain it, couldn't maintain it. So I ended up closing the company. And this was all in a fairly short period of time. So it was a, a very quick rise to the top and a very quick launch of the website. It actually was, was up and running. And there were a lot of things that I did inside of that experience that were full of mistakes and errors and things that I literally spent the next probably 10 years beating myself up about. Um, to the point where I was so depressed at one point, I thought, I just, I don't want to be on this planet anymore because um, this, I just can't, my soul can't bear this. And I, and in that sense, you know, then you're not taking responsibility for your mistakes and your failures because you're just being a victim to it. So first step in, in uh, embracing mistakes and failures is to embrace them and to go, okay, I have a lesson, I'm learning here, ouch, this hurts, and I can move through it. So first you take responsibility for it. And then what you do is if there are any people that you can go make amends with in your mistake, you go and, and directly do that, either in your heart with yourself or with them in person, depending on the situation. So again, you're taking responsibility for it. Sorry about that. And then also just know that they are for your higher good because if you didn't have mistakes and failures, you wouldn't learn and you wouldn't grow like you could. You grow in leaps and bounds when you make less you when you make when you get lessons like that so this video is a little bit longer because I wanted to make that point and I wanted to say that by all means with yourself with your partner with your company with your kids with your relationships allow each other to make mistakes if you're not right now be graceful about it open up the door to what you learn so the question comes out what did you learn from that experience and, you know, there's a good friend of mine that does forgiveness work and maybe you should call her. <laughs> I'll put her link below. But um, there's a lot of uh, letting yourself off the hook 
but only after you really take responsibility for what you created because you did create it. So that is my uh, talk for today. Sorry it went so long, but um, I think it's important to really understand that mistakes and failures are for your higher good. So bye for now.